Yo, what up guys? This is Sticky Fishy Fishing. We've just hit 10,000 subscribers on the channel. Thanks to everybody who has subscribed to the channel and everybody that watches the videos. It's much appreciated. Okay guys, here's a new video. Check it out. Yo, what up guys? This is Sticky Fishy Fishing. Just came down for a bit of a drummer fish. Water's a bit clear, but um, it's only one o'clock and it's high tide at four, so hopefully it gets a bit more washier. Uh, you never know. I'll just burly up some brand. If there's some drummer around, they should come in for a feed. But it's a nice day to fish. So um, let's just get a line out there and see if we can get some. All right, just here, guys. I've got a bucket of water and some uh, old bread from the bakery. And what you want to do is just soak that in some water. And get a big burly trail going. So you just want that to soak in there. I might as well put it all in since I've got so much water. I'm going to use it all anyway. I've got a couple of extra loafs in the bag anyway for backup. I just bought a big bag from down the bakery, old bread for $4 down a local bakery so it's a good place to get your burly cheap there we go that's a big bucket of bread just let that soak in there for a second and soften up and just in here i've got a bucket of kanji that i went and got off the rocks this morning so that's what we're going to be using for bait and the rod i'm using is just a wilson live fiber medium 10 foot six alvi adventurer 50 reel 15 pound snyder clear line mono and the rig I'm going to use is just a size zero ball sinker going down to a size one suicide. And as the swell picks up, I might go to a size one sinker, but because there's not much swell at the moment, I'll just start with that. It's a nice light rig. And then just chuck out a few big handfuls. Even just throw it down on the rocks. The waves will wash it off. Three big handfuls to get it going as you can see down there just to get a nice slick going get it out there around the bombies bring the fish in that's what we're trying to do as you can see the water is a bit clear though i prefer it with dirtier water but like i said there's not much else to do today so you never know as the tide comes in late to salvo fish could come on the bite i'll show you what i like to do with the kanji there's a big piece of kanji when you get it out. Cut that bit off. And I just like to use the side pieces of it. Just cut it into pieces about that big. I don't really like those hard nipple bits but I still um, keep them just in case when the fish are on they're on but yeah just chop it into small bits that's a big kanji that one some of it's real soft so mostly just this top piece here is the toughest part of it but that's what i do i just chop it up into pieces just like that she's ready to go all right let's get a bait out there there's no 
real good way to put this kanji on, just get it on the hook, put a half inch around it, just like that, long as it's on there. It's starting to get windy. Every time I go fishing, it gets windy. It's just my luck. That ain't hard. This might be a drummer. drama size one, it's not huge but he's a nice fish oh, he's bleeding too, that's a shame I could have let him go, looks like he's going home for dinner how big is he? 38 make sure you bleed them when you catch them too, they're a lot better eating I'll bleed him out and um, I'll take him home for a feed. Might even catch, if I get a couple, I'll take him home for a feed around that size. Any giant ones I catch, I'll let go. I actually changed over to uh, two size one ball sinkers just because it was a bit windy. And the reason I'm using the chest cam today because when it's windy and I've got it on my head, I can't hear when it turns on and out because I can't hear the beep in the wind. So. I've got to use the chest cam when it's like this otherwise I could miss out on um, recording some fish Alright, another bit of kanji on A good drum in here. There you go, there you go. Let's go. That. Another nice drummer. Another nice piglet. He's around about the same size fish. So last one. Keep him for a feed. Alright guys, ended up getting a couple of drummer. Not bad size. Good size for a feed. A little bit windy now. Fish are going off the bite, so I'm gonna head home. Alright guys, got the um, drummer here that I caught, the two drummer, here's one of them here, gonna show you how I fill them up. 
I've already gutted it, took the gut cavity out when I caught it before I brung it home to put it in the fridge. Best thing to do as soon as you catch a drummer is to bleed it and gut it instantly. Scrape the bloodline and it makes them a lot better eating. So what I do is just start at the back here. Run the tip of the knife along the edge. All the way down. And then put the knife in there and scrape it along the bone. So you get all that meat. Go up over the rib cage. And there you go, you have a nice fillet of drummer. You got all the meat off the bone. It's perfect. Flip it over. There you go. Two nice fillets of drummer, and you can see through that, so you know you got all the meat. Now what you want to do is skin it to start from the tail. Run the knife hard along the skin. Just like that, and then you have a nice fillet of drummer, and they've just got nice meat drummer, nice and thick, very good eating fish. Then you, you just want to cut this bloodline out. I just run the knife down beside it on an angle, just like that. And then there's one piece, one nice fillet, and then the other side. Just like that. And you got two bits of boneless fish. And then what you want to do is just do the exact same to the other fillet. There you go, wet the skin off it. These fish have been in the fridge overnight so it makes it a lot easier if you leave them in the fridge overnight. Cut the bloodline out. When you take this bloodline out, it also removes the um, bones as well. So there you go. Nice boneless fillets. And drummer are real good eating. One of the best eating fish. Very nice eating fish. All right, guys, once you've got your fish filleted, what I like to do, you can crumb it in big pieces like that, but I like to chop mine up into smaller pieces when I cook it. 
So um, what I usually do is I just cut it on an angle just like that and then just like that. So then I cut one fill into three pieces. Then I just got three nice triangle pieces of fish. Those um, tail bits you can leave. So then all you got all your fish pieces ready, chopped up. There you go, that's two drummer, fair bit of fish there. Then what you want to do is put an egg in a bowl. A little bit of milk. Give that a stir up. Alright, stir it up. You want a bit of uh, plain flour. And I'm just going to make put a bit of garlic powder in the flour. A little bit of Cajun season. And a bit of paprika. You don't have to do this, you can just do it plain, but I thought I'd just try something different and I might even put some mixed herbs in there there we go see how this goes I haven't done this before I thought I'd just try it and the breadcrumbs I'm using is just a uh, cooker crumb these ones are made in Australia from 100% Australian ingredients. I've never tried these ones before. So we'll give these a go. There we go. Alright, so we've got our fish, flour mix, eggs, crumb. Plate to put it on. So what you want to do is just dip it in the flour into the egg and then in coat it in crumbs. They feel good these crumbs, they're real nice and dry, which is good. There we go, nice crumb piece of fish. Make sure you give it a good coating. There we go. Alright, that's all you got to do is just flour, egg, crumb. Alright guys, I'll crumb the rest of this up. Then I'll get back to you. Alright guys, fish has been done. Nicely crumbed. Look at that, that's heaps of fish off two drummer. So, I'll put that in the fridge, let the crumb set, and then um, I'll cook it up. Alright guys, also going to cook some chips to go with this fish, some garlic, basil and parmesan flavoured chips. Alright guys, going to cook the fish up, just got the pan heating up here, bit of sunflower oil, I never actually use this oil, I usually use the um, Kelowna, whatever it is, but this is all I got, so try that, see how it goes, put a bit of butter in there, thought I better cook it up now since I'm going to do it out the back and it's going to be dark soon, you won't be able to see on the GoPro. So, I won't show cooking all of it, I'll just show cooking a few bits of it 
but since it's been sitting in the fridge the crumbs are stuck to it so it's nice and firm check it make sure that oil's hot all right whack it in Alright guys, got it in there cooking up. Just cook it till it's golden brown on both sides. Shouldn't take long. And put on a bit of um, paper towel. Alright guys, gonna start flipping it over. Some of these bits are browning up nicely. That one's still alright. couple of brown ones there one pan side of the pan must be hotter than the other that's all right there we go look at that that looks awesome all right once you flip them over just brown the other side and uh they're ready to go all right guys the other side's brown now Start getting them out, put on the paper uh, towel, alright there we go, it's a nice brown crispy fish, alright guys there's all the fish cooked up, crumb, cook the chips, look a few bits on Got a lemon here. Cut the lemon. Put a little bit of lemon on there. Bit of salt. Right, let's try a bit. Oh, that's awesome. Look at that. Oh, that's good. Can't go wrong with that. Alright guys, there's the finished product. Turned out awesome. Absolutely beautiful. I'm going to finish this off for dinner. Nice. Okay guys, if you liked that video, hit the like button, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Cheers.